Hey guys, Technically Jeff here, and I am so excited. I have had this tapping sound in the back of my EV6 for as long as I can remember, where you'll just be driving around and you hear this tap, 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 tap sound, and it gets so annoying. And I've taken things apart back there, trying to figure out what the sound was. I took the gravel guard off, thinking maybe there was a rock under there that was bouncing around making the noise. Um, I took it into my Kia dealership. They said they couldn't replicate it, of course. I don't know how they couldn't, but um, I could not figure out what it was. I know I've seen other people post about hearing similar sounds uh, online, and there wasn't really any kind of solid solution to fix what the sound was until now. So there is a user, uh, on the forums and on Facebook named John that uh, he has a Kia EV6 GT and he's been very frustrated that he spent over $60,000 on a car that taps all the time. Um, so he's been working with his Kia dealership and they figured out what the issue is. So uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, his actual video uh, so you can hear it, hear exactly what I'm talking about. I unfortunately don't have my own video uh, where you can hear it, but I'm going to show you his video and then I will show you guys what the issue is and what I did to fix it because I don't have the sound anymore and I'm so excited. <laughs> So first, let's listen to John's video. Thank you, John. He's unobtaining his quick reviews on YouTube. And if you listen close, you can hear that tapping sound. Definitely gets really annoying. So the issue stems from this back here. There is a vent for cabin pressure in the back of the car on the side and it has flaps on it and as pressure builds the flaps open and close and they sound like this that is a hundred percent the sound that we're hearing and these flaps are on both sides of the car now John's gonna see what Kia Tech Line says to do to fix it but for me I'm past the 15,000 mile adjustment window and I'm not the most confident in my dealership so I figured I'd try to stop the sound myself so you're actually able to remove that insert. If you push down the tab some and push it in, then turn it and it comes right out of the hole it's in. And this is what it is. And those are the annoying flaps. <laughs> now to stop the sound. So I got my wife's yarn and I'm gonna put it around where the flaps close and see what happens. All right, so I got the yarn wrapped around and it blocks the flaps and no more sound. I'm sure there are better ways to do it, but I wanted to take care of it while I had it everything apart back here. So I'm good with this. And now you can see the insert back in there with the yarn and no more sound. It's great. Now that that's back together, I can do the other side. You can see in this hole past the wiring, it's the same thing down there. Now on the passenger side, you can get to it through the opening without taking everything apart like I did. But on the driver's side, it might be a little bit tighter, especially with the trailer hitch wiring I have here. So I did have to take loose a few 10 millimeter bolts to be able to move the trim back enough for me to get the flaps out. Once I did get them out, I can pull it over enough for me to get behind it. And it's the same thing as the passenger side. Now for the yarn. All right, so the yarn is wrapped and looking good. And no more sound. Woohoo! <laughs> now to get it back in place. It is in place back there now and it should work fine.
All right, and I just went for a drive and there's officially no more sound coming from back there, no more tapping, and I'm so excited. This is something I've been wanting to have fixed for quite a while. Um, it's one of the few frustration points I've had with the EV6, um, and I'm so glad to not have that tapping anymore. So uh, anyway, I hope this helps some of you guys out. Um, I'm sure some of you have heard the tapping, um, and now you at least know what the cause is, and you can kind of come up with your own ways uh, to fix the problem. Talking with John, he was thinking maybe some felt pads might help uh, under there, um, but obviously there's numerous things that you could do. Um, using yarn like I did works. Probably not the best way to do it, um, but it works. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions on this. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys soon.